Hi everyone, Sandy here. Welcome to my channel. This is a showcase walkthrough video of my 5x7 mini album that I designed for Country Craft Creations using Prima's My Sweet Paper Collection. This is a beautiful vintage looking uh, collection with roses, butterflies, birds, and sewing elements. Uh, it has lots of cut aparts with the uh, button cards and that is why I use this vintage button card that I had in my stash on the front cover. It has several buttons, uh, vintage buttons attached on the vintage card. So I really loved how that looks. So I turned it into a tag by adding all these ribbons to the top. And then I put chipboard stickers from the collection, this, these two birds and the heart. And then down here, I added a cluster of roses from a stash with some cut apart butterflies and other flowers in there and stick pins that I had. I also added in these metal corners by Graphic 45 and finished them with some black rhinestones instead of brads. And then this is a chipboard piece from the collection and I added some of the matching uh, gemstones that you can order from the collection. So this is a real pretty album, uh, easy to make, I think. I think you'll enjoy it, and I hope that it'll inspire you to create something similar uh, that you might be wanting. This is a nice size. It's a 5x7 with a 2.5 inch spine, but after it's wrapped and finished, it has gives you about a 2 and 3 quarters inches of space inside. So it is uh, tied shut with the ribbons, but that's not necessary if you don't want that, because as you see, it stays closed with the three pages page sets that I have inside. Um, I did add a piece of lace back here behind all these elements to kind of just kind of add more to the vintage look. And so let's take a peek inside. So when you open it up, put this over to the side. On the inside front cover, I did some decorative items. I created this decorative piece and added a chipboard sticker. Then I fussy cut out all these other elements here and then added them on top of a what I call a library pocket that I created where the tag does come out. So you have that going on. Here on the first page set, each page is made the same. Each one will have this flip here on the front that's kind of offset so that you can see the pattern paper underneath. On this one I added um, made two corners with a removable photo mat here. Uh, these are vintage rose buttons and some of the gemstones from the collection package that you can order. Here I created a photo mat using the um, my colors in the cream color and then the gray artisan paper. So this is attached. This is a flap. But then you also have this flap for more photos. But this one actually comes completely out of the page like that so you can put some on front and back so you have this you have two of these on each page set in this album so this just slides back in and then if you push it up against it will hide or tuck underneath this flap uh, so that is in the top loading pocket of the page but then we also have in each page set one of these tags. This is a tag just made out of patterned paper and the top of the pad and I'll show you how I did that in that and I've just tied some lace on that one. So that's a tag for that. And then each page set will also have a side mat that comes out that you can pull with this uh, pull tab. And so that just fits right inside there. So you have one of those in each page set. So then when you flip this one over, we have a triangle pocket here with chipboard stickers. I made a little booklet and a tag. So those just tuck into that little corner spot there. This was the tap, a flap that is attached. And then of course here is the one that comes completely out. I'm not going to take them all out. They're all made the same. They each have a, a My Colors photo mat inside. So we have the main page and then we have this flap. So then on the second one here, I created a pocket out of the lace, the same lace that I used on the front cover, and then attached this piece on top. So inside the pocket, we have 
We have two small photo mats with the chipboard stickers that I uh, made them not quite so thick. I took some of the chipboard off the back of them so that they would fit in here. And this is a little booklet made out of some of the cut aparts, which are the button cards. And then this is just a, you can use as a mat one of the button cards. So that just tucks in there. So this is the flap that's attached with the photo mat. And then we have the removable mats here on this side. And then we have a tag here at the top. So this closes. This is your side insert with a tab. And then you flip this over. Now this does not lay completely flat because I have a lot of elements in here. And I'm okay with that. So that's just something you have to decide. If you put a lot of elements like I do, uh, you know, you may want to uh, create a spine that is even wider, but I don't like the really wide spine. So I'm okay with this being like this. On the back of this ne next page set, I created a tuck spot here for these two photo mats that I created. And then I placed a butterfly here, uh, a raised up butterfly as a placeholder to keep them in place here on this flap. So this is a flap that flips up and it has the photo mat here and then we have the insert at the top right here. Flaps. Third page has the angle pocket again made out of the pattern paper and inside I have a tag and a booklet made out of the button card cut aparts. And then this one flips up Got your photo mat, and then of course you have your mat that comes completely out, as well as this tag. Put this one back in, and then flip this over. On the back page, we have a little mini envelope, and I added in a trim down and added in two of the buttons on the cards, on the cut aparts. So those just tuck right back in there. And then behind that, I have several of the little cut apart with the button cards. I just love these. They are so pretty. And uh, you could use these to mat photos on the back side. So I just like those all tucked in there. And then this of course flips up. We have the photo mat right there. And then we have the insert at the top that comes completely out. Like that one. So those are all. You have six of these in this project. You have uh, one on each side of your main page. So that goes back in, so that closes down. And then the back side, I created a double pocket. So let me take these out so you can see. So in the back top pocket, I created a booklet. So you could add extra photos or journaling. And use a chipboard sticker and lots of scraps of paper to piece that. And then you just slide that in. And then here I have a tag that I made out of just the patterned paper. And then I took another one of my vintage button cards that had buttons already on it. This is similar to the one on the front, but a little bit different. I love that it says 10 cents guaranteed to wash and dry clean. I added ribbon into the hole. Now, if you don't have vintage buttons like this, and I also covered the back with some patterned paper, um, you could go to a sewing department and purchase cards, um, uh, buttons on cards and just leave the buttons attached and make sure they're more flat. That works better. Maybe ink up the card some to make it more vintage if you can. Uh, if it doesn't have a hole, most of them I think do, just punch a hole and add your ribbon. And you can get that look for this vintage sewing because this has a lot of sewing elements in it like this one says sewing, illustrated, it has the gold foil thimble and needles. So I just really love adding in that sewing part in with all the other romantic phrases like my sweet and um, the different things in there like that. So uh, this is my album that I designed again for Country Craft Creation using Prima's My Sweet A2 Paper Collection. Um, there is a tutorial for this on my YouTube channel. 
and I hope that you will follow along and let me know if you create an album similar to this or use some other paper line that you like. I want to thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell so you'll be notified when I have a video ready. And check out countrycraftcreations.com for your crafting supplies. They have exclusive paper line now just for Country Craft Creations as well as other paper lines like this Prima, My Sweet, Seam Binding Ribbon, Adhesives, and other supplies for your projects. Thanks. Bye-bye.